Hey guys, welcome back to another video. The uh, trooper has been having some bogging issues. And it's uh, it's pretty pretty hard to drive right now. It needs to be fixed. Um, I'm not totally sure what the problem is. But it could be fuel pressure. Or it might just need a tune up. So I'm going to... I put a bunch of fuel injector cleaner in the gas tank and letting that work through the system. But I got a bunch of, uh, you know, tune-up parts here. I'm going to put a new ignition coil on it, new uh, ignition wires. Got a uh, new fuel pressure regulator and also a new distributor cap. So... And I have more stuff to put on it once they get here, but oh, look, got a, got a uh, fridge magnet. All right. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm going to put that stuff on and uh, hopefully that'll work, but we'll see. And I think I'm going to do the five tech mod to the uh, fuel injection. Because, I mean, I just have a feeling that it might be the fuel injection. Just the eye tech being eye tech. So, probably get rid of this EVAP thing. Get rid of the smog pump. And, uh, I don't know if I'll get rid of the smog pump. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out. But, at least do the 5 tech mod and get the, uh, I have a control valve up here. It needs a new one, so that'll be helpful. And, uh, get rid of a lot of these vacuum lines. Because, you know, those could be cracked, causing this problem. Could have a big exhaust leak, or a big vacuum leak somewhere that I'm not sure, or that I haven't found yet. I did find this. So, this thing was always taped. <laughs> There's a huge hole in this thing. It like melted right there. It's melted a huge hole in this thing. Which I don't even know how the hell that happens. You'd think this is hot enough to withstand that, but I mean, that is right above the engine. So I was thinking maybe if that, that was leaking. I mean, I could hear it hissing through there. So I put new tape on it, but you know, I think that's the, uh, math sensor so i was thinking maybe if it was sucking some on air and from right there it was frigging up the math sensor but i don't think that's helping out that didn't change anything obviously else i wouldn't be fixing this right now so let's at least throw some new, new tune-up stuff at it because i'm sure it needs it these wires don't look too old, but God knows when they were placed last. Let's see. Oh, right there. Okay, so replace that. So I think there is a way to test these by like pulling off one of the hoses or something. So let me do that. Let's see if that is the issue. Hey okay, guys, trying to get this fuel regulator out. Fuel pressure regulator. Not totally sure if one of these is going to have gas in it, but uh, I'm about to find out. Okay, that was the... Okay guys, we found the uh, fuel. <laughs> I saw that coming, honestly. Okay. Which should have Okay, so I took the old one and I put it on the new one. I can't, I can't get this thing out. 
for some reason. I'm not totally sure why, but I guess I guess it's uh, she's in there. So uh, I think I'm just gonna like mount this one right here. Zip tie it there. Okay, it was a freaking nut, of course. So, but if you look right here, you just finger it in here. You hold your nut. You guys probably can't see with the hand, but just slide it in. And then you tighten the nut. So it's actually uh, simple if you uh, know what you're doing. Actually, actually, now that I feel it, I don't think this nut even fits this one. Oh, it does. back on. Got my clamp on and my hose. Let's put this one back on. I'm quite a bit easier. That's all for that. Okay, I just got the clips off of the distributor cap. So I can let someone get this thing out of here. It does have, it has oil in it from the engine. So that could be a problem. some signs of wear in this cap so I'm just uh so I like to do it because I don't want to like mess up this firing order so I'll just put the wires in the new cap right next to the old cap and go. yeah so first of all you can see the oil on there and they could have gotten on the points I'm which one's the longest here. Alright, that one's the shortest. It goes there, so cylinder four is the shortest. clips in. The other one's pretty hard to reach, but it's on. So, yeah. Looks a little cooking. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, so I'm gonna place this thing real quick. Jeez. Uh, pretty... Oh my Jesus. I almost just killed myself, guys. Anyways, place this. Just a plug there. Two bolts. Some sort of ground thing. For. I don't know. Some sensor. But. That looks horrible. Might reroute those underneath this hose. Because I just got that coil in. Yeah, so the other one. Uh, literally says made in China on the back. I already don't really like the looks of that. I'm guessing they got the. There was one. You could buy these for like $10. 
So that's probably one of those ones. This one is like 40 bucks. I mean, it was the best one I could get according to Rock Auto, so I got it. I didn't really figure around with ignition coils. It's pretty important. So, got that on there, new plug wires, new cap for the distributor, and a new fuel pressure regulator. And I think that's everything that I have right now. But, yeah, I also have spark plugs on the way. Um, got some, oh, what, the, what the heck did I get? Spark plugs. Got a lot of stuff. Probably have to recheck it. Um, oh, I think I got a new one of these. I think it was mostly fuel, fuel related stuff. Um, what the heck else did I get? Shoot, I don't remember. Hmm. I might have gotten a coolant temperature sensor. Um, oh, I think I got like an EGR valve, which I think is one of these things back here. Um. EGR valve. Hmm. There you go. I don't know. I'll have to. <laughs> have to tell you next time. But um, I have a bunch more parts to put in. So, just say that. This is just going to be like part one. But we'll see if this fixes it. I'm still going to put the other stuff in it. But I need to uh, also in this video. I'm going to. So I figured. I thought the catalytic converter might have been clogged. So I just took that off to see, but that didn't fix it. So it's, uh, it's right there. Yeah. So that's off now, which is sort of bad. So I'm gonna uh, probably just weld a muffler onto it and then stick that back in there. Just gonna put this back in there and then pull the muffler to the end of it. Weld this on it. Take the muffler. Just like an angle thing. Hangers on wrong side. I have to put those on. But yeah, should be pretty sweet. Hopefully.